been a little more than seven months since El Salvador made Bitcoin a national currency. The country's president has promoted it endlessly, but there are two questions people really want to know. Does it work? And does anyone really use it? NBC's Gaddy Schwartz spent 48 hours on the ground in El Salvador to find out. Hey there, we are here in El Salvador. This is the first country to take the promise and the dream of Bitcoin and actually turn it into an official currency. These are the ATMs where people load up their phones and they can use Bitcoin to buy everyday things. But how does it work? Hey, we finally got our money two and a half hours later, $199.01. Uh, not sure where the 99 cents went, but uh, our money's on our phone. They got special lines for people paying in Bitcoin. Okay, so we got our groceries, but not because we paid in Bitcoin. They said that their transaction had been canceled. It showed that it had gone through on our account. So we're down about $14. This is the second time we've tried to use Bitcoin with Strike Wallet here in El Salvador. And uh, zero for two. Wow. Uh, Gaddy is back from El Salvador now, and he joins us. And Gaddy, while you were there, who did you talk to from the government? And how is the El Salvadorian president's administration defending this move to adopt Bitcoin? We should point out that uh, the IMF basically said, don't do this. Yeah, that's right. But on paper, El Salvador looks like the perfect place to, to try an experiment, if you will, uh, for several reasons. One of the reasons, there are $6 billion of remittances that go from the United States uh, to people in El Salvador. So the big push uh, by the president down there was to uh, take some of the fees that are paid on that rem those remittances and put them in the pocket of the people down in El Salvador to the tune of about $400, uh, $500 million. So that's one reason. The other reason down there is because 70% of people in El Salvador don't have access to bank accounts. So for them, the concept of having a savings account is, is almost foreign. I was talking to one guy down there, and he said that, you know, the cash is, is like water. The second that you pull it out of your pocket, it almost seems to disappear. You spend it. Sometimes you put it down, and it just goes away. So having a secure place to keep their money when 70% of people don't have bank accounts is an, another a big reason. Uh, and, and those are the types of reasons that the, the government is putting forward forward uh, to try to uh, get this uh, widespread uh, adopted. And the third reason is because of trust. In El Salvador, people trust the president. He's got an approval rating of something like 85 to 90 percent. When we were down there, every working class person that we spoke to said they trust their president. Now, when it comes to Bitcoin, though, Cash needs to work 100% of the time, or any type of currency needs to work 100% of the time. And so you have one bad transaction, two bad transactions, where all of a sudden this thing that you have on your phone either uh, gets lost along the way, or the balance doesn't show up, or you put money into the, the ATM there, and it takes two and a half, we've heard up to eight hours for it to hit your account. There's a lot of sitting there. There's a lot of waiting there. Uh, there's a lot of anxiety. And so uh, for the people of El Salvador, most of them have tried it. Uh, they were all given $30 of Bitcoin at the beginning of this experiment. They went to the grocery store. A lot of lines formed. Uh, we held up the line there for 10 minutes just trying to get it to work, and it didn't work. We were ended up being double charged. Uh, so just one experiment like that. And most of the people in El Salvador said that they're not using El Salvador to us, but they did say they trust their president.